it's a heavyweight collision between Jan Blachowicz and Paolo Costa. gold at home to prove it, but many believe on any given Saturday night you are looking live at the best middleweight on this roster, the Brazilian Paulo Costa, the artist formerly known as Bo Hashinha, but man has he been erasing UFC competition left and right. His fight against Joel Romero will be one that they are talking about deep into the next century. This man is the total package and tonight looks to inch one step closer to future UFC gold. much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 14 wins, two losses. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Paolo, the eraser, And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai fighter, holding a professional record of 29 wins, nine losses, and one draw. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Warsaw, Poland, Jan Blakowicz. And when the action begins, I'm be in charge, Herb Dean. The veteran Herb Dean draws the assignment here. You ready? You ready to fight? All right, so two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about defending takedown. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Nice kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big punch land. And they separate. Oh, nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Cut him open. Oh, big elbow. Big punch lands through the middle. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for the powerful Paolo Costa. Under two. Oh, huge right hand. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact 
right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Countered there with a jab to the head. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this. Checks the leg kick. Left hook to the head. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Costa. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Collar tie. Beautiful body kick. Had a range with that one. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Costa. Very nice outside leg. Oh, shoot, Jabba! Final seconds of round one. So there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Strike to the midsection glances. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Oh, you can feel the breeze there. Swinging a miss by Blahovich. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. So as we call on the numbers here, 47 total strikes have found the mark for Paolo Costa. And the accuracy rate, 36% for him against Jan Blachowicz. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Costa. Shot to the body is blocked. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round. Oh, he got a little bit too. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! He's getting lit up right now, John. that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout on the sport's biggest stage. Seminal moment for that fighter tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 17 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, Paolo the And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birthday.